Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affair MCQ series in which what we do we daily discuss MCQs from your current affairs perspective. So today is 25 October so let's see what are the questions for today. So they are based upon the current affairs of today. So the first question is recently union cabinet has improved approved the merger of BSNL with A Airtel B Vodafone C MTNL D none of these. So friends uh, this is quite easy uh, 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 answer. Uh, that is uh, the answer is C MTNL. So obviously it is shown before you and uh, you might be aware of this fact that on Wednesday Union Cabinet announced some key economic policy decisions. Uh, the first was basically a revival package for two loss making public sector telecom firms uh, that is uh, Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited and Mahanagar Telephone Nigam Limited. So they are both are being merged and uh, uh, efforts will be made to revive them. And second is uh, the government of uh, uh, the Union Cabinet has uh, increase the MSP for Ruby crops and third, uh, thirdly uh, uh, the decision has also been taken to liberalize the re regime for marketing petrol and diesel by revising the guidelines. So uh, basically uh, this uh, the uh, one of important guideline uh, was earlier that uh, uh, if a person wanted to uh, to set up marketing chain uh, in petrol and diesel uh, uh, that person must uh, uh, it was required that that person must have net worth of rupees 2000 crore. So it has been reduced to rupees 250 crore now and uh, some uh, additional uh, 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 guidelines have also been given so you can check them in the newspaper and next is consider the following statements about minimum support price. First it is the minimum price at which certain crops are pro procured by the state government from farmers. Second the price is decided by commission for agricultural costs and prices. So which of the above statements is are correct. Let me tell you friends that both of these statements are incorrect. Uh, first is incorrect because uh, the, crop, uh, the crops are not procured by state government but, but rather they are procured by food corporation of India. So which is responsible for procurement and then uh, also with uh, uh, other, other uh, uh, also with other uh, ancillary activities. So price is not decided by commission for agricultural cost and prices. So this commission basically recommends the prices and advises upon the prices which uh, um, upon which the decision is ultimately taken by government of India department of agriculture and cooperation uh, uh, that is uh, uh, on the basis of recommendation of this commission for agricultural costs and prices. So MSP is announced for 22 crops before their sowing seasons. Now let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements about ozone layer. First it is a form of protective covering around the earth in stratosphere that protects biodiversity from harmful UV radiations of sun. Second if formed in thermosphere near the surface of earth it is considered a pollutant. So which of the above statements is are correct? Let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct. So recently uh, the NASA has found that ozone uh, uh, that in uh, uh, over Antarctica uh, the ozone layer has become the smallest. So it is not just because uh, 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 there has been a problem progress in uh, uh, in in, uh, uh, in in curbing the re release of such uh, chemicals that uh, that deplete ozone but rather this this because of uh, uh, the excessive bar warming this year due to which uh, uh, the clouds uh, that uh, that formed in stratosphere uh, they uh, they didn't pers persisted for long so that's why uh, the conditions were thus not condu conducive for the ozone layer depletion so that's why this uh, ozone layer was small this year so it, uh, it if Yes, it is, if, it, if it is formed in uh, thermosphere near the surface of earth, it is considered a pollutant. So answer is C. So more detail you can check in the Indian Express explained part of today or you can check of uh, yesterday depending upon the addition which you receive because the addition which I receive uh, has basically uh, uh, in which uh, in that addition uh, explained part comes comes a day later. So that is major uh, uh, kind of issue. And then uh, other is uh, uh, Fourth question. Fourth question is consider the following statements about El Nino uh, Southern Oscillation. First, it is a phenomenon of abnormal warming of Eastern Pacific Ocean. Second, the phenomena is associated with excessive rainfall in Indian subcontinent dr and drought conditions in Australia. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct. Let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first. So El Nino Southern Oscillation is basically a phenomenon in which uh, uh, Eastern Pacific Ocean exp experiences a warm uh, temperature so it gets warm 
formed uh, and then uh, this uh, uh, this warming of eastern pacific ocean is uh, uh, causes huge impact upon the uh, upon weather systems uh, of different countries because this uh, is further carried this uh, abnormal war warming is carried uh, carried to the uh, to the indian ocean by uh, by this uh, uh, easterly easterly wind uh, and and due to the this uh, ocean current uh, uh, that uh, that, uh, that comes into the australian region and that due to which uh, this uh, uh, elino happens so this phenomenon is not associated with excessive rainfall in indian uh, uh, indian uh, subcontinent but rather drought conditions prevail in indian subcontinent due to el nino and uh, 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 excessive rainfall takes place in australia so if for example uh, uh, this uh, uh, if we consider the second is correct then second must be correct in case to case of la nina and not in case of el nina so the solution is a so this has been uh, question has been framed because uh, uh, recently a report has been released by leading scientists who have, who have said that uh, uh, that El Nino uh, events could become more frequent and more extreme in, uh, in due to due to the impact of climate change. So you can read about it in Indian Express Explain part. Uh, so also we will be making a video on it. So you can uh, see that video also. We will be sh uh, shortly uploading that video on the channel uh, in uh, with uh, in uh, on, on uh, within one or two hours. Next, let's consider the following statements. Uh, first, ease of doing business is a report released by World Bank to measure how different countries perform in terms of promoting business environment in their respective jurisdictions. Second, in the recently released report, India has moved up to the rank of 77 among 190 countries. So which of the above statements is are correct? We have to choose that. So friends, let me tell you uh, that uh, only uh, one statement is correct and that is first. Second is not correct because India's rank is 63 this year, 75, uh, 77 was last year. So India has moved 14 places to the 63rd position on this World Bank's ease of doing business ranking after rating agencies slash the country's growth forecast amid on uh, amid an economic slowdown. So India has also figured among the top 10 performers for the th uh, third time in a row in the list released on Thursday. So India was rec uh, ranked once of 42, 142nd among 190 nations when uh, when uh, uh, NDA government took charge in 2014 so consistently due to various reform measures structural reform measures for example GST and then insolvency and bankruptcy cord uh, that uh, that made it uh, uh, easier is easier to liquidate uh, uh, un uh, unviable business businesses uh, so uh, all such processes have led to the improvement so this uh, uh, th uh, this is a significant uh, 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 improvement so then now government is targeting that we uh, that uh, uh, it will it will try to come in the category of 50 and uh, of under 50 and uh, in 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 the coming report that will be released next year next is india's panchayati raj institution is a three tired b two tired c one tired d four tired so friends let me tell you the answer is a three tired so india's panchayati raj institution basically uh, uh, there are four, uh, three tires uh, that is panchayat level or municipal level and then come your block level and then comes your district uh, um, district planning uh, uh, district uh, district boards then your uh, uh, district planning boards so uh, more reference you can check in indian polity by lakshmi kant so this question has been from framed because uh, this uh, was in news due to the block ele level elections that have happened recently in jammu and kashmir now let's move on to the next question next is bruni is a part of a indonesia b thailand c vietnam d malaysia so friends let me tell you that the answer is d malaysia so india uh, recently you might be aware that uh, uh, with Ma Malaysia, India's uh, relations have uh, uh, have seen a setback uh, due to the uh, uh, ignorance statements that are made by Malaysian Prime uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, in an United Nations General Assembly against India. Anti-India statements were made in which it said that uh, he said that uh, Indian government has occupied Kashmir. Uh, it has uh, uh, forcibly occupied it, and uh, uh, this this thing is basically not liked by India. So that's why this question has been framed so you can check the Malaysia so Malaysia is shown, shown on the map here so uh, this is uh, th uh, this is the capital that is Kuala Lumpur and then comes your Br Bruni so Bruni is also part of it and uh, uh, the, uh, basically uh, this uh, a sea falls uh, between them so here you can see other countries also this uh, uh, Gulf of Thailand and then Andaman Sea this is Indonesia so you can mo ch check more detail by seeing the uh, by by pausing the video or you by checking the map and next question is uh, uh, Laos is a landlocked country in Southeast Asia the countries looking at are first China eight second Vietnam th uh, three Phil uh, Philippines fourth Cambodia so we have to choose that which of these uh, 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 surround uh, uh, Southeast uh, uh, that 
that uh, loss um, and then answer friends is your uh, one two and four philippines is not a, a country it is basically uh, yes it is a country but it, it doesn't uh, border uh, a loss uh, because it is a it is an island country so solution is d one two and four so you can see here this is loss and this is vietnam surround uh, this uh, surrounding it and then on the north is china so this is uh, then Myanmar that also uh, uh, surrounds it and then this is uh, your uh, Thailand uh, and uh, uh, then comes your uh, Cambodia also so Cambodia also shares a small border with it so then uh, then there is uh, there is uh, th th there is question uh, next question is question number nine uh, uh, election Commission of India is responsible uh, for conducting the elections for first Lok Sabha, second Rajya Sabha, third Legislative Assembly, uh, uh, fourth Governor. So uh, we have to choose which of these is correct. Answer is friends uh, Lok Sabha and Legislative Assembly. So answer is uh, C, the one and three only solution is C. So this question has been framed because of recent Assembly elections. So also and because of uh, uh, the, uh, the recent by-elections that have happened in different uh, states to do the the vacant seats lying there so election commission is basically mandated constitutionally to conduct the elections for Lok Sabha legislative assemblies and the president of India so it was in news recently due to the assembly elections in Haryana and Maharashtra so you can check a more detail uh, in in the Indian polity by Lakshmi Khan so some students might say then what is the uh, purpose of discussing MCQs here if everything has to be checked in the book so friends let me tell you that everything can't be explained in a single video because this also wastes your time and also consumes a lot of energy of ours also uh, the purpose here is to give you an idea about how the up how upsc frames questions how questions can be asked so if you if malaysia is in news uh, then certainly you must look that why it is in news and then uh, uh, then uh, then uh, then if election commission is in news then you must know that why it is in news and uh, what has happened so such like such is the habit of uh, UPSC so basically it is to give you an idea so next is last question of the day Hint Savraj uh, is a book written by A. Pandit Nehru, B. Narendra Modi, C. M. K. Gandhi, D. None of these so friends answer is C. Hint Savraj is a book uh, of uh, uh, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi that is the father of nation uh, and uh, uh, this is in news because of the uh, 150th birth anniversary of Gandhi ji so friends this is all about today's discussion about uh, daily current affair MCQs so if you like this discussion if you like the video then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also friends if you are uh, interested to in in in, in uh, uh, following us in uh, in in uh, if you are interested to get uh, uh, if you want to remain in touch with various initiatives that we are running for the purpose of cic preparation then you are most you are most welcome to join our telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the description box so here on this channel we have more than 14000 subscribers that follow us and also they have access to various public resources that we share um, uh, that are related to your uh, UPSC preparation so if in case you are interested to uh, 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 to get access to those resources and those initiatives then you can uh, join our public telegram channel and uh, also if you have any doubts queries you can mail us at achieveis21 at the rate gmail.com or you can also contact us at 8968920720 so uh, this is all about friends today's video thank you have a very nice day ahead